the first thing we're going to talk about is a fake horizontal smooth scrolling, if you will. And it's just, you're going to look at it and be like, that's it. But it can, you can do a lot of cool things with it. And beside me trying to sit here and describe it, let me show you a couple examples. So I'm going to go out and if you want to, you can go to the app store and get Adobe and DPS. Here's one example. Let me tap on that. You're going to see here, if you swipe over, swipe over, swipe over, you're going to see this. You can see right here that it kind of looks like, if you look, it looks like it's horizontal smooth scrolling. And it's got a video behind there and that's awesome, blah, blah, blah. But um, you can also see that, see, they, they actually did this a different way. But we can make it to where we have content that smooth scrolls this way. Now, they just made continuous content here, but this is one, one idea, one example. Let me go to another one that I'll show you. And it's the Ontario Tourism Board. It's called Ontario Magazine if you want to download this one. And you're going to see, pretty cool, take a powder trip, etc. They got a cool little thingy here, indicator of swiping. And if I swipe, you can see what's going on here. So horizontal smooth scrolling within a single area. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now, let me tap out. So let's go back over to InDesign. What I'm going to do, what we're going to do rather, is we're going to set up a folio. So come to Folio Builder Panel. Let me hide everything. And come down here, and we're going to create a new folio. We're going to use this folio throughout the course. So create a new folio. Um, we'll just call this DPS. Call it whatever you want. I'll just call it Advanced because I've already got one called DPS or Advanced DPS. You guys all know the drill here. We're going to change viewer version 25 usually. Sometimes there can be issues. I only want to go horizontal here because I only, I got lazy. Okay, so landscape only. PDF, make sure it's PDF, which means we're going to have to preview on the iPad or fake preview like I showed you in the overlays panel. And we're going to create an offline folio. So make sure you do that. Now, you won't, I, I'm pretty positive you won't see this unless you are actually connected. So if you're signed in, you will see this. If you're not signed in, you won't see this. So if you are signed in, check it. If you're not, don't worry about it. I don't think you'll see it. So I'll create an offline folio. It'll create the folio. Cool. So I'm going to go out to my desktop here and open up the folder. And you're going to see week one. And I've included the final files. We want to go to the start files. So go to the start files. And we are doing horizontal scrolling. There we go. Uh, go to the project article and open up the project InDesign file. Now, if of course, if you're in InDesign CS5, you're going to see the CS5 version of this. Go ahead and open that up. And then scroll all the way to the top. Sorry. And I'll fit it in. What we're going to do is we're going to create some smooth scrolling content horizontal that goes in here. The trick, I know a lot of you probably are like, well, duh. But if I go to folio overlays, the trick is just a scrollable frame. That's all it is. What I want you to do is create an article out of this. So go to folio builder, come down here, make your article. You can also import it if you want. And just call it, uh, we'll call this project. I know it's kind of odd, but. It's going to contain a lot of different things. I don't want to do horizontal swipe only. Just click OK, PDF format. Great. It'll add it. Now, I'm not going to make you do a lot of like creating the content, et cetera. I've already got the content created. So if you go and open, you're going to see a horizontal scrolling InDesign file. CS5, 5.5, you'll see the CS5 on the folder and you'll open that. Open that up and you'll see that I've got all the content for what we need. It's really simple stuff. You can obviously design whatever you want. You can put a lot of different things in here. The key, and you can see I got a lot of things here. The key is to take all the content you want, make sure that it fits within the height, obviously, you know, the, uh, the 768 or depending on which orientation you're at. But the, the width can be almost any width you want. Uh, I've heard things and seen things, and I haven't quite broached it, but if you go beyond 3,000 pixels in height, I'm not sure if it applies to width. Uh, for certain content, article content, it'll actually convert it to, uh, to image content. But anyway, you're not going to go that long. So select all the content. So go to uh, select all. And we've got to group it. Okay. So group it. Object group. You all know how to do this, I'm sure. Copy it. Okay. Keep it open. Go back to the project. Now, our task here is to put it out here. So what we need to do is we need to create a frame. And we're going to paste it inside just like we do smooth scrolling content. So click and drag to create a frame. And it's going to go about, I purposely did this, but it's going to go about down to here, right above that user guide button. Okay. Selection tool. And we're just going to paste it inside. So edit, paste into. Got to be grouped. Don't forget. Cool. Now, on the frame here, 
double click on this content, you'll get it selected. And what you can do is just drag it over and you can use your align buttons and I don't see them, but you can use your align buttons. You can drag it where you want it, kind of position it, et cetera. Things like that, there we go. Okay, awesome. Now press the escape key to get back to the frame that it's inside of. That's kind of a neat little trick. There we go. Now this is gonna be basically smooth scrolling, so it's gonna be scrolling within. So you need to go to the folio overlays panel as a last step here and come to scrollable frame, select it, and tell it the direction you wanna scroll in. We only wanna go horizontal here. You wanna hide the scrolling indicators and you wanna position it where the document is set up. Otherwise it's gonna take the group and stick it up in the corner up there, which, hey, that may be what you want. If you have enough text and other types of content, you wanna choose vector. Otherwise, if it's just like a bunch of pictures, choose raster. This is only for a PDF, PDF article. Okay. Now the last step here, as you can see, it's on top of this thing right here. So what I want you to do is this. Close the folio overlay panel and click to deselect. Click on some content, command click or control click on windows, and you should be able to select through the content. You can also arrange all this. Bring it to the front, object, arrange, bring to front, okay? And what we're gonna do, same thing with this here. Click down here and then command or control click to select it. Object, arrange, bring it to the front. I'm sure a lot of you already know this trick, but if you have static content that you wanna show on top of interactive content, like overlay content, all you really gotta do is this. Select the one, let's say this. This is just a, a, a box and a text box and I grouped them together. Come to object states and make it an object state object, a, a multi-state object or MSO. Okay, go to folio overlays, auto play and turn off crossfade. You don't need any of that stuff. That's pretty much it. it what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep playing, but it's gonna be on top. Do the same thing here to swipe for more. Click on that one. Come to object states. Create a multi-state object. Folio overlays. Auto play. Turn off crossfade and loop. And there we go. We can test it out. So if you have your iPad connected, hopefully, I've got a folio builder. I'm going to go back to my project here. Save the file, by the way. Let me save it. I get lazy and don't do that. Come down to the bottom. And let's pre... No, I don't have my viewer open. Brian. Preview on iPad. Now you've got to have the latest and greatest version of Adobe Content Viewer and the tools because there was a little hiccup there when it, uh, Apple updated their content. Go over and you can take a look and let's take a look at it. There we go. Just swipe. Awesome. Smooth scrolling, content on top. There we go. This is actually a really cool thing you can do and you can add tons of stuff in there. You can add buttons and other video content and Really, really cool. Just kind of take it to the next level. There's some really awesome things you can do there. But that's working with horizontal, and I'll put quotes around it, air quotes, smooth scrolling content.